You know, right now that we have this horse in a smaller training pen here, this is an excellent time to make sure that we have the control and starting to use our pecking order to its fullest. If the trainer comes in here and, and he starts to have this horse use his forward motion, it's a chance to really, you know, get inside this horse's mind a little bit and make sure that he has a submission there by using his, the trainer's square shoulders, the faster feet, the raising of the hands. That's saying to this horse, hey, I want to be farther up on that pecking order. I want to be in charge. Now, by controlling the front end, by controlling the rear end, by the, getting the horse to speed up, slow down, to stop, to face him, he then's going to see signs of submission, which mean you're going to see him chew, you're going to see him drop his head, you're going to see him stand and be quiet. Once you have that established, of course, then you can go ahead and you know, and go on into your next phase. If you have a horse that's very aggressive and he's going to say that through you through his body movements, heck, he's going to throw his hip toward you. He might even kick out at you. He's going to raise his head really high. He's going to just say, no, I want to be in charge. You're just going to have to be more aggressive in your behavior. Make him move that front end by a real quick move, a quick movement of the hands, a reverse in here. Uh, be very positive. Make sure right here that you absolutely don't have that direct eye contact. Then once you start to see that submission of the dropping the head, the chewing, uh, the forward motion when you want him to move, then you're okay into a point there to where actually I would quit. Or if you can go ahead and like you're going to see here, we're, we're at a point, we're going to take a hold of him. We're going to start handling him a lot more because we, we do have him handled. And we're going to start then our leading, our getting him to where we can just take a few steps. Pretty soon we'll get three steps. Pretty soon we'll have four. And then we're in a position where we can lead him quietly in this corral. And then we can go out into our alleyway, our bigger pen. Visually watch this very close because it's the visualization and the response. It's that verbiage from the horse's movements. It's going to be real important for you to catch right here. Right here, I want to really show you again that we want to just keep him moving with our body gestures here. We want to walk at an angle. And I, I want you to notice here that I'm creating a triangle as I walk toward his hip and keep my feet moving, keep him moving out to the perimeter. And again, this helps set up the pecking order. As long as he's out there and he's moving out there to that perimeter and he keeps moving, as he starts to stop, I raise my hands, move a little quicker, keep him moving around me. As I slow my feet down and stop, of course, I get the same response here from him. I want him to move. I go back to the hip, raise the hands. That's a positive gesture to say I want control. As I drop my hands, stop my feet, you notice the turn of the head. He's saying, I want to be submissive. So he's a good student so far. He's letting me be the head of the pecking order here. I'll move the front end. Turn him around. By controlling the front end, that also says I want to be in control. I stay at his hip here. Keep him moving around. Keep the triangle, stop movement, faces me, make sure that I don't have that direct eye contact. By him chewing, by turning his head, he's saying, okay, I'll start to trust you. Now, as I approach into a space, again, I can't say this enough, watch your direct eye contact, stay at an angle, and right now, I'm using open eyes. In other words, I'm not looking directly at him. As I walk over a little closer, I can then start to get my hand on him just a little bit. Now, I'm a new person out here to him, so I didn't have a chance to have the real bond. Slowly, very carefully, keep an eye on him out of the corner of my eye. Watch his ears. 
Let him come over to my space, see him start to turn his head a little bit. Bring my hand back. Bring my hand out. Bring my hand back. Bring my hand out. Okay, didn't get what I wanted, so I'll move back out. Raise my hand, move my feet, move him on around, keep moving at the hip, reverse, move the front end. Now I walk a little slower, he walks slower. Walk a little faster, move my feet, he moves out, walk slower, see him drop his head. Stop, then move on around me, keep my triangle, move up, stop. Notice him start to drop his head. Move him up, get more aggressive when he does that, turn him in the corner. Then slow back down, stop, let him turn, and then again here, you can start to come into his space. Make sure your eyes, you don't have the contact, with direct eye contact, keep an open eye. You notice he's chewing. Notice that my shoulders are still square, but I'm moving slow. Hear the deep breath. Again, a sign of submission. Bring your hand down. Bring it out. It's a very fluid move, not a jerky move. Each time you'll get a little bit closer. This is a real, kind of like a bubble around him here. It's a very private area. And, and for you to reach up and just grab this wild horse who 24 hours ago never have had anybody touch him, let alone have a halter on him, you've got a whole new situation here. So it's, again, something that's got to be built on trust and a lot of quietness. You'll notice that out here on this angle, I'm also in a position to where if he was to turn or kick or, or uh, give me a little bit of problem, I can move, and, or if he was to strike forward. I'm gonna go for that area right up in front of his weathers. That's an area there that where the bonding is created. And right here, you're just gonna find out how much patience you have because if you don't have that patience, this horse is gonna keep moving away from you. He's gonna not trust you. And you're gonna have to just start all over again. So if this takes you two hours, you know, take two hours. Very, very slowly reach up and just take a hold of your halter. Again, make your moves quiet. Pull his head to you. You go to put that rope on. Again, just stay real slow. We've set up our packing order by asking this horse to go around either the square pen here or the round corral. We've got him to move and relate to our body movement. We were able to speed him up, slow him down, reverse him. We used the square shoulders. We used the faster feet that said, I want to be in charge. We used the reverse by controlling the front end and the rear end. That also said, I want to be in charge. We got him to where he would 
follow our movement in both pens, and we got to where we could actually walk up and catch him and get our hands on him and start to handle him. And then by slowly pulling, as soon as he took a step, a release, pull, step, a release, until we had him to where he would start to lead and follow and trust, always going in a circle. Right now, we've got a pretty willing partner. Right now, we've got an animal that we can start to enjoy.